Scholars! I'm here to help you with your first grade skills lessons. Today we're on our skills unit two, lesson three. My name is Miss Jane. Let's get started. Our objectives for today are to identify common nouns in short phrases, read and write one syllable words with the long vowel A, segment and blend to form and write one syllable words with long vowel and short vowel and retell a story after reading. Let's get started with our new sound. Today's sound is A as in late. Say it with me five times. A, 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 A. Now let's try it in some words. Repeat after me. These are words that have A at the beginning. Aim. Ape. Eight. Ale. Now some words that have it in the middle. Tape. Cake. Game, main. It's a little bit harder to hear that sound in the middle. Here are some that have the sound at the end. May, play, day, day. Great job. Give yourselves a pat on the back for that one. Can you think of any other words that have A in them? Do you think that A is a vowel or a consonant sound? Think about your air. Remember, consonant sounds block the air, and vowel sounds let it go. Say it. A. My mouth is open. It looks like the air can come right through. So it must be a vowel sound. We're going to look at how to spell this vowel sound. Here we have A blank E. This is a little different than the other spellings that we've looked at so far. These two letters, A and E, work together as a team to make the sound A. A and E are a team to make the sound A. We're going to call this a letter team. Let's look at some more words that have this letter team. G, A, M. Game. It has the A and the E that work together to say A. B, A, K. Bake. That's got the letter team A E as well. N A M. Name. There's our vowel team. M A D. Made. And we've got that letter team again. The A and the E make what sounds? Together, they say A. Very good. Let's look at our, con our vowel code card because we said this was a vowel team. Cake. The power bar is shorter. That means it's not very common for A to be spelled like this. But right now, that's what we're going to focus on. For today's workbook page 3.1, we're going to look at some words without the E and then what they sound like when we add the E. Here you can see they gave us an example. M, add, mad. But here it has that letter team. So that means this says, a instead of a. 
This is mad, but this is made. Let's try another one. The next word we're going to write is can. K, a, n, can. Now, what would that be if we add an e at the end? Now it has that letter team that says a, k, a, n, can, cane. Let's do another. Start with the word tap. T, a, p, tap. Now, what would that word be if we add an E at the end? Let's write it out. Now it says t -a -p tape. This E is also called a magic E because it changes the sound of the vowel before it. The E becomes silent. Did you notice that we don't say it? Cane. The magic E is silent, but it changes the sound of the vowel before it. So this says can, and this says cane. Now this is saying a instead of a. Tap to tape. That magic e changes this vowel to a. Let's try three more. For number three, we're going to start with the word fat. Sound it out and write it. A, t, fat. Now let's add an E and see what we get. Remember that magic E changes the sound to A. Now it's fat instead of fat. This one's fat. This one is fate. The next word is rat. Write the word rat. R -a -t. Now add an E at the end. That magic E makes the A say A. Now the word is R -a -t. rate. Let's do one more. Our last word is plan. P -a -n. Now let's add an E. Remember that magic E now makes this letter say A. The A says its name, A. Let's read it. P -l -a -n. Plane. We turned plan into plane. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause for that. That's a tricky thing to learn about, but you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're not going to read a new story. We're going to reread one of our old stories. Today, we're going to reread the story, The Pet. And then, when we're all done reading, I want you to go tell somebody what happened in this story. Remember, we want to tell the story in order what happened first, next, and last. Let's go to the story for today. Here is the pet. 
read along with me. That means at the same time. The pet. Gran says, when I was in Hong Kong, I got a pet. What can it be? asked Jen. Is it a fish? No, says Gran. Is it a dog? asked Josh. No, says Gran. Is this pet big? asked Josh. Well, says Gran, he is not big, but he is long. Has he got teeth? asks Josh. He has fangs, says Gran. What are fangs? asks Jen. Just then, the bell rings. Gran says, that must be him. Now, your job is to go tell someone about this story. Tell them what happened first, next, and last so that they feel like they read it. And that's all we've got for today. I'll see you next time. Great work today.